Shalom Aleichem. We are in this holy site of the great righteous known sage Rabbi Meir Baal Anes, Rabbi Meir that wonders were taking place by his merit and this is the back side of his grave and therefore it's closed at night and um, this is the side that I like more but there is nothing to do with the fact that it's locked so I cannot take you in from here but soon we will go to the other side and you'll be able to see a, li a little bit more so this is a very holy and very old site that there are many 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 stories of true humble and righteous people that traveled a long long way just to visit in this holy location the grave site of Rabbi Meir Balanes Rabbi Meir many many stories about Rabbi Meir Balanes. One of the stories is that Rabbi Meir had a rabbi and his rabbi in a certain part of his life fell from the path of holiness and purity. This is the roof top of the other side of the grave of Rabbi Meir. His rabbi's name was Elisha ben Abuya and he was one of the friends of Rabbi Akiva that went up with him, with Rabbi Akiva, to the heavens, to a place that is called Pardes. And the Pardes is a holy, holy site that you rise to through meditation. And by using holy names, the sages knew how to climb up to those high levels and to see the chariot of Hashem, where Hashem is being seen to his Hasidim, to his students, to his loved ones, to the righteous ones. Now, Elisha ben Abuya, you see, everything is working. So, Rabbi Meir Balanes, he was the student of Elisha ben Abuya. Like we said, Elisha ben Abuya went with Rabbi Akiva up to that holy site, to that site that is called Pardes. And in that place that was called Pardes, there were four friends over there. And uh, three of them, including Elisha ben Abuya, were not able to hold the great purity and high level of spirituality and godliness that was there. One of the friends died. Another one lost his mind. And the fourth one, maybe we'll say the third one was Elisha ben Abuya, the, the rabbi of Rabbi Meir Balanes, he fell off the deep understanding of serving the Creator in the path of purity and holiness. And therefore, when he came back, he started to sin and to violate the rules of the Torah, the commandments of the Bible. 
and he did not follow the path of purity. Now the story about Rabbi Meir, that this is his grave site, the other side of the synagogue that we saw was behind that wall and that site itself, the grave itself, can be touched and felt also on the other side. So Rabbi Akiva was the only one of those four that were in the Pardes that came back healthy and pure in his mind and spirit. That was Rabbi Akiva. But here we're standing on the grave of Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Meir, even though that his rabbi fell from that path of holiness and purity, still was in touch with him and helped him and followed him and kept on learning good things from his rabbi, even though that his rabbi forgot the right way of purity and holiness. And it's written on Rabbi Meir Balanes that he found the pomegranate, sweet fruit with many, many, many sweet seeds. He ate the fruit and was able to throw away the peel. Here it's written, the tombstone of the burial of the holy sage Rabbi Meir Balanes. Rabbi Meir was a huge righteous man, was a very powerful man in prayers, in holiness, in purity. He was the light that is shining until today for the whole world. And you can see that, the merit of having such holy, site for people to come and to pray. Prayers are written here around his grave for people to pray when they're coming. Many people are donating oil for eternal flame of fire, candles for the memory of this holy sage. May his merit and the merit of all the righteous, true righteous people protect and save us from any decree and any kind of sorrow. Amen.